After you've installed KeyFast, you can go ahead and open it by clicking Window, scrolling down, finding KeyFast, and clicking on it. When you first open it, you're going to get this quick start guide, and this is going to take you through some steps on how to get started, and we're also going to go over these in this tutorial. So I like to dot KeyFast, so I'm going to click the name here, just drag it in this bottom right corner in this little square. Um, this is a nice position because then you can easily click on the layer and click on the KeyFast controls. So um, the first thing that we have is an easing button. So what this does is if you have some keyframes and you select them and you click the easing button, it adds easing. Um, also what it can do is if you have some keyframes but you don't select them but you click on the layer and then you click it then it'll add easing to every keyframe on the layer. You can do this with multiple layers as well, as many as you want. Okay, up next we have these side buttons, and this is just a side right, side left, side up, side down. So I'll go ahead and select the layers that I want to slide, and I will click slide right. So the first time I click that, we see, oh, it's cool, we have this sliding animation. Now if I click it again, we now get a slide out. So both of those were clicking the slide right button, and both times the square slides right. Um, but the second time it knows, hey, you actually already have some keyframes, and your square is probably already on screen. So this time, we probably want to slide it off. Um, if you're confused by this, I would just recommend uh, giving it a shot. It's pretty intuitive, um, pretty much does what, I mean, what you want it to do, right? Um, so, uh, the other buttons are just more of the same. They're just, you know, slide up, slide down, etc. Uh, the buttons underneath that is the scale. So, if you click the scale up button, your layers, your layers will scale up. And scale down is obviously the inverse of that. One thing that you might notice is when you hover over a button, you get this little pop-up window, and it'll tell you what the button actually does. So, obviously, this one will be fade in, this one will be fade out. Uh, next one is rotate. Now we have rotate left and right. Uh, the next one I find to be very useful is the trim path. Um, so if you have a shape layer with a stroke on it, this one does, and we can trim path that stroke. Um, you can select as many shape layers as you want, and it will add trim path to all those shape layers. You can also trim path off. And we'll get that. Um, it's kind of nice to kind of overlay these on top of each other. So we have a, you know something like this. Uh, the next buttons down are the stagger buttons. So if you have a bunch of layers here, you select them all, and you click the stagger up, and you get like these stairs that kind of go up with the layers. Um, and of course, you can also click stagger down, and you'll get the same thing, but going down. Okay, after that we have a clone keyframes button. So this is for the times that you don't want to individually select keyframes on each layer and copy paste your way down. Uh, you can just select as many keyframes on as many layers as you want and then you can clone them. Okay, and to the right of that we have time reverse. So to demonstrate this, I'll go ahead and take this square here and I'm going to slide it onto screen. And now we're going to want to, let's say we want to slide it back the way that it came. We can grab those keyframes, clone them, and time reverse them. And we have that. Okay, uh, on the bottom left we have the info button. And uh, this is essentially what we just went over here, this is the instructions. Um, this is what we'll go over in the following videos, and so is this. But uh, you have this button here called the Quick Guide, and if you click on that, it'll take you through the steps um, that we had seen when we first opened KeyFast. Uh, and this is just kind of a fun fact thing. This is how many times you've clicked on a KeyFast button. So that's it. Next video, we're going to look at the settings panel and how to change 
the default settings on KeyVest.